Sometimes the higher we get, the holier we get, the harder it is to really distinguish. To distinguish between something bad versus good, it's much easier than to distinguish between holy and the holy of others. This Shabbat, we have the big fight between Korach and Moshe Rabbeinu. Korach, the head of the children of Levi, and the children of Kahat, those who carried the Aaron throughout the desert, challenges Moshe Rabbeinu's leadership and Aaron, his brother, as a Kohen. And Korach wants to uproot and take over. At the end, Korach not only doesn't get Aaron's position, but Korach at the end also loses his own position as being the leader of the tribe of Levi. I myself have been stuck in Pashat Korach for 2,000 years. We're always filled with Machloket that many, many times often disguises itself in the name L'Shem Shemayin that we're doing it for ideological reasons. We're doing it for the sake of heaven. Despite Moshe Rabbeinu feeling threatened and challenged, the Pasuk tells us, Vayakam Moshe, Vayelech el datam v'aviram. Moshe Rabbeinu goes himself to the tent of datam v'aviram and there he tries to appease these two rabble rousers by trying to challenge his authority and he tries to be mefayist them and make peace with them and some are reconciled with them. And despite them saying, Lo na we're not going to come up to you, Moshe goes to them to try to find that good point. A lot of times we're waiting for someone to take the first step. If they apologize to me, then I'll accept. A lot of times families are torn apart, communities are torn apart. Everyone's waiting for the other one to make the first step. Let's learn from Moshe Rabbeinu, the greatest of the great, the prophet of all prophets, who forwent his honor and his shame to bring peace. Many mitzvot, we have to wait for them to come to us. But then our mitzvot, Bakke Shalom Rafael, we have to seek it out, we have to pursue it, and we have to try to bring the reconciliation. The privilege in the schut of Hebron, Korach was dividing. Hebron is the chibor. When we realize we're coming from the same source of Avram, Yitzhak, Yaakov, Sarah of Kamea, should be able to make that connection and unity, all factions within Am Yisrael, and eventually to the whole world. Shabbat Shalom. Peace on Tisha.